Hey guys, welcome to today's makeup tutorial. This is a fun one. This is Ahsoka from Star Wars. As you know, the new series has just been released, so I thought I would do a cosplay Halloween tutorial on the makeup. I have started this late in the day, so I do apologize. I might start to look a bit tired by the end. I'm gonna show you a couple of techniques for covering your eyebrows. I'm gonna start with Witch Hazel to remove any products from my skin. This takes away any oils so that your adhesive sticks. You can get this online or at pharmacies. If you want the easiest way to stick down your brows is to use the Elmer's glue. This one is a purple one, but it dries clear. And my preference is to apply this to the brows using a TP, which is a dental tooth flossing stick. Take some of the Elmer's glue onto the tiny bristles of the dental stick, and then always brush your hairs downwards first. So it go against the grain to coat the back of the hairs. That way when you brush them up, they're definitely going to stick. If you don't coat the back of the hair, when you brush it up, sometimes it will come away from the skin a little bit. This is also great if you want to do the fluffy brow trend and you're on a budget because the Elmer's glue is so affordable. As I said, it does go on purple, but it does dry clear. If this is going to be the only technique that you decide that you want to go with for the brows for affordability, just make sure that you layer the Elmer's glue over your brows. So as you can see here, it's dry and clear. But if you want to completely disguise the brows, you want to do this in a couple of layers. And I show you how I do that in my skull makeup tutorial, which I will link on the top right hand corner for you. So once you've done both brows, once it has dried completely clear and you feel it and it's not tacky anymore, you know you're good to go. The makeup on Rosario Dawson who plays Ahsoka, a full forehead piece is used, so from below the brows up and over the hairline. So one of the options would be to apply a full vinyl ball cap. Instead of blending the edges away around the hairline, take it down below your brows and blend your edges away on your eyelid space. If you have long hair and you don't want to tackle a full on ball cap, you can apply the vinyl material just to your forehead and down below your eyebrows like I'm doing here. I'll be honest, this isn't the most comfortable. Applying a full ball cap for this particular look would be better because you get less tension on your forehead. After I apply it, I decide I'm just gonna do it around the brows because I don't like the tension. I feel like it just slightly pulls on my eyelid skin and I'm less of a fan of that. It really is down to personal preference, but I'm gonna show you the technique anyway. So I've placed the back of the vinyl ball cap over my ponytail and Tommy's holding it in place while I wait for the prose to go completely clear. Once it does, then you know you're great to push down the vinyl onto the prose and it's gonna stick, it's not gonna move. Now obviously this is helpful if you have an extra set of hands with you because you will want someone to help just trim around the edge in so that you can tackle the flash in yourself. It's quite difficult when the ball cap's flapping around and you don't really want to cut any of your hair so definitely ask for a little bit of help with that. Final ball cap does melt away with acetone so you can just use a cotton bud and a rolling motion to work the flash in flat against the skin. Now. The only downside to me showing you the three different ways is that I've actually used a colored ball cap and for me I just feel like the edging on a colored ball cap is slightly thicker because there's a few layers of color in between the vinyl. Therefore, when I take this down to just being around my brows and not fully on my forehead, you'll see that the edging is always slightly thicker. But if you watch my other tutorials where I use a clear vinyl ball cap, you'll see it melts away into the skin seamlessly and when you paint over it, it's barely visible. So on this occasion, you will have to bear with me because some of the edging is not going to be completely seamless. But I really wanted to show you the various methods that you can use to achieve this. The last way is to just remove this top half of the forehead piece just to show you that you can just cover the brows with this. Now again, this is the painted board cap. It's ideally used to cover your hair and give you some more coverage. Whereas in my Bride of Frankenstein tutorial, I'll show you this method just covering the brows using a clear vinyl board cap, which will give you so much more of a seamless finish to the skin. To help blend in these seams a little bit further, I'm gonna take a little bit of the cream prosade and just blend that on the edges. It will just take the edge off and make it look a little bit more seamless. So hopefully out of those three methods, you will find something that works for you, something that is achievable, something that's affordable, or if you wanna go the whole hog, you'll know how to do so now. You can also see this method of just covering the brows in my witch tutorial that I did on my friend Rihanna. So although we've used the vinyl ball cap to give a seamless finish to the brow so that you will no longer see or feel the brow hair, we do still have a little bit of color going on and Ahsoka isn't particularly dark. Her skin tone is still lighter than the color of our brow hair. 
Therefore, we need to disguise this darkness. In order to do that, we're going to use this super color shade in Mandarin, which is an orange tone, and that's going to neutralize the darkness. You're probably going to wonder how this is also going to be disguised because this was Tommy's question when I started applying this to my eyebrows. So I'm going to show you how we do it. So once we've applied that over the brows, we're then just going to diffuse the edges ever so slightly with the brush. And then we need to set this in place so it doesn't move. So I'm going to take some translucent powder by Huda Beauty. This is Sugar Cookie, which is just translucent. And I'm using a powder puff to press this over the top of the cream so it doesn't move. Again, it doesn't matter if it's still visible. This is not to cover it, it's just to set it in place. This will also set that prose that we applied around the edging of our eyebrows. Now I'm using another powder puff, but I'm using some of the Huda Beauty Bow Filter Concealer because it's full coverage and I'm pressing this over the Mandarin shade that we've applied. And as you can see, it's becoming much more invisible. We can no longer see the color of our brow hair. This is also the techniques that we use if you are covering something like melasma or very deep pigmentation, birthmarks that are in the brown tone. This neutralizes and disguises them. For the base, I'm gonna use these Hybrid Pro Air Professional Face and Body Paints. Not only are these incredible for longevity, they're also affordable and they do not move. So this is great if you're a cosplayer or you're going to a Halloween event where it's gonna be hot and you need something that's gonna last. You can apply this with a brush. I have shared how to apply this in my Yondu makeup tutorial. Pro Air actually provided the paint for Gamora, Yondu, some of the other characters in Guardians of the Galaxy, and they were the same colors that they used in the actual movies. I'm using the airbrush just because it gives me a really nice, flawless, quick and even finish, but you don't have to use an airbrush. And I've mixed together a little bit of sherbet and coral tan because I feel like most people when they do the Ahsoka look, she's always too orange. I'm now taking a soft coal black pencil. My favorite one is by Zoeva, but it is quite difficult to get hold of. But any soft black eyeliner will do. You can use a cajole, you can use a coal, it's completely up to you. I'm applying this all the way along my top lid close to the root of the eyelashes. And then I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills number no. three brush to soften the seam of it. Ahsoka's eye makeup is relatively plain and simple. She has dark eyeliner along the top lash line, also along the waterline and below her lower eyelashes. She has a basic lick of mascara. There's no obvious eyelashes used. And I think this all just helps to make the contact lenses really stand out. So the focal point of her face really is her eyes and her markings. You will start to notice that the seam around my brow piece is becoming a little bit more obvious because there is some tension there and I'm moving my face. So I like to leave that right to the last minute to repaint in this area. Get most of your expressions out of the way so it no longer moves and it's kind of settled where it's gonna sit. And then you can just go in with an eyeliner brush and the same color paint and just dab over it until it's no longer visible. Don't forget when you're using your eyeliner pencil to go along your inner waterline at the top to make sure that there's no kind of pinky flesh tones visible. If you are using this look for cosplay and you want longevity, make sure you use a good mascara, one that's not going to flake down your face because it will be visible on this kind of orangey tone that we've got going on the skin. I like the Lancome Lashadol Mascara because it does not move. It's a tubing mascara, so it comes away with water, but it doesn't move if you tear up for any reason or you get hot and sweaty. I'm gonna put a little bit of color on the lids, but not just yet. I'm moving on to the skin. I'm using my Kevna Kwan Sculpting Powder in Medium, and I'm gonna use this with an angled brush through the hollows of the cheeks really lightly. There's no obvious sculpting to Ahsoka's makeup. Rosario Dawson has quite a distinctive face and she's quite sculpted naturally. So we only want a very light amount here. I'm taking a slightly orange tone eyeshadow in a matte finish. I'm adding a very light wash of this over the mobile lid. While I was applying the makeup, Tommy kindly made these templates for me on this small acetate sheet. It was a bit difficult to do it one-handed and I also couldn't really see what I was doing because the acetate sheet's slightly frosted and I just felt like I would do a better version by hand just to my face because once the lacou goes on, there's a good chance that these lines on the face would be slightly too wide. 
So I'm taking a small craft brush and some white face paint. I'm using the white face paint by Superstar because it's really intense. And I'm using this to map out the shape first. And then I'm gonna use a slightly smaller brush to start filling in the areas. And you want to apply a couple of layers of this white to make it as opaque as possible. I'm following the shape from a movie poster of Ahsoka's makeup. It's pretty geometric, quite easy to achieve doesn't really require too much explanation because there's no easy way to describe the actual shapes. All I can say is download a high res copy of Ahsoka's face and then map the same shapes but to your face. If you're not very confident with doing this, I would say use a very soft pencil in a similar shade to the skin tone but enough that you can see it. Map out all the lines first, and then that way if you do make any mistakes, they're not gonna be huge, they're not gonna be that visible. The base makeup itself, it does set and dry in place, so it's not easy to remove mistakes off of it. So definitely use a template if you think freehand in this is gonna be more difficult for you. For instance, when I go and tap in around the brows where it's kind of pulled slightly, that is going to be fine because it's a very light amount of paint going on top of the paint. But if you make a big mistake and you need to completely paint over an area, it might start to break down that base layer that you've already applied. So just bear that in mind if you are going to use the Pro Air as your base. So I'm going in with a first layer of the white paint and then what I'm going to do is once I've got it all on, I'm going to reapply this and make sure that it's nice and intense and very white. Here I'm just moving on to the cheeks and I'm using the handle of my brush as a bit of a guide as to the placement and as you can see I'm doing a few dots first, that way I can get the proportions right and then I can start to paint in the actual shape. It's never going to be perfect if you are freehanding it, but I think that adds to the charm when you look at Ahsoka's makeup, it's not completely symmetrical. You'll notice that I didn't take the paint all the way down my neck or over my ears because this is all going to be covered, so it was a bit unnecessary for me to paint any skin that wasn't going to be on show. I don't think I also mentioned that the Superstar paint, in my opinion, is one of the best base paints that you can get. It really does pack a punch in the opacity. You can really layer it up to give you full coverage and it's still very affordable. The last step before applying contact lenses is to apply some lipstick. I'm using Velvet Teddy by MAC. This colour looks identical to the colour used in the image that I'm using as my reference of Ahsoka. Rosario Dawson definitely has a lot more volume to her lips naturally, so you could overline them if you wanted, but I didn't feel like it was necessary. I'm popping a wig cap on, I've applied my neck piece and my shroud, and I applied my lacou, and then my battery died. So I popped my contact lenses in and I just managed to get some photos done. Can we also take a moment to appreciate my beautiful Leku? It was made by my brother-in-law Jack and my husband Tommy. And my shroud was made by my mother-in-law Jane. So this was very much a group effort. I will try and list and link all the products I've used in the description bar. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because it really does help with the algorithm. You can follow me outside of YouTube over on Instagram at showmemakeup and I'll see you in a couple of days with another video. Bye guys.